put a camera device through its backpack too. What's that? No video recording. You want to Oh. Is that like a law? Yes, it says no photos, no anything. So, it, yeah, I mean, I, I see the sign. Yeah, so. But is that like a law? Yes, sir. That's a HIPAA violation. We have to protect yes. our patient's privacy, okay? You do. That's correct. I don't. Yes, and so. So, do we need a call security? Yeah, because we. For, that's not uh, because so. we're asking you to please put the phone away because it, it is violating patient's 
privacy. It is? I can see like private patient information from here? No, you're not allowed to, sir, and that's I'm, why we're not allowing you to film. But if I didn't have the camera, would I be able to see private? No, sir, you would not I wouldn't, so no, I can't record yes. the that's information right. that I can't see? Yes, sir, we, we're, we're not taking any risks. We don't want our... Well, you're not taking any risks with other people's rights? What, in terms I, of just sir, we're so not, we're not having a conversation about rights we're oh. having a conversation about privacy okay okay sure i so, mean i'm just going by doing a film and you guys have actually stopped me yes that's correct to tell sir. me because you're not allowed to film that is correct so i'm not allowed to just walk by and capture this uh, visible right. scene yeah, from a they from it's a it's a public place Yes, place, but they're, they're in here for a medical procedure. Is so. it a private place? Is it a private airport? Yes. It is? Tucson it's International right. Airport is private? Okay. You want me to get out of here? Yeah. I mean, I will. I don't have any, I don't care. I was just going by. Right. You guys stopped me to tell me something about HIPAA? Yes, sir. About how correct. you're violating HIPAA? Yes, sir. That's correct. That's what I thought. Yeah. You take care now, sir. You too. Excuse me? Did I, did someone just call me a name or something? I didn't either. So, did you want to, did you want to get that on record? Do you want to call me an asshole on camera? Sir, asshole. I, I'd recommend Thank you. just for your sake, security's coming. If you really want to make this a bigger issue, it's not really a good idea. Well, what is security going to do? That there's a sign and so people just can't record in the yes, airport sir, because correct. you're doing this here? Yes, sir. That's correct. Yeah, that's not what they're going to tell me. Okay. I mean, it might be what they're going to tell me, but they're going to be just as wrong as you are. Okay, sir. You're, you... But anyway, I got more I'm things not, to film, so have a, have a good so holiday. You know, okay. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. Predictable.
Pretty alright, how about you? Good, thank you. Hey, what's going on? What do you mean? Well, um, you're down. Damn, I, I actually have a fragrance sensitivity, I can't stand that close to you. I can't hear you. I have a fragrance sensitivity, I can't stand that close to you. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, so you were downstairs, and the people downstairs asked you to leave, and to stop recording them. So Is that what they told you? I'm sorry? Is that what they told you? Yeah. So what happened? I guess they told you. Okay, so uh, I don't. I'm not. I don't. I don't need to share my story. I don't have a need to. I'm not going to file a report or anything. Well, here's what we need to do, sir. Just so you understand, this technically is a private business. I'm Sergeant Mark Marin, Two Thousand Air Force Police. Oh. Okay. So. Oh, my mistake. Yes, this is not a. It's not a public area. It is not a public area. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do right now, I have no problem if you're a traveling member and you want to purchase a ticket. Absolutely, we can assist you with that. If oh. you're not going to be a part of that, sure. They, they didn't want you to record downstairs. That's private. Okay. So what I'm going to ask you to do is leave our property, unless you're going to conduct business and get a plane ticket. Hey, our, uh, could you repeat your name again? Sergeant Mark Meredith, Tucson Airport Authority, please. Sergeant. Okay. And do you have like an identifier number or something in case? Nine four. Nine four. Yes, sir. It. And then just for good measure, yours, your name and ID number. What was the name? Awesome. Okay. Thanks, guys. I, I didn't. I did. I had an understanding that this was uh, pretty much a public. Uh, no, I thought this a, was a, a, a public non facility. It's a private nonprofit business. I see. And so, uh, yeah. So, it's public access, obviously, for sure. for people to sure. come and go. Sure. And it's a private business. They can conduct business and trespass people. Sure. Sure. How they see fit. So, so, I'm so gonna ask you to stop recording now. Oh, I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll leave. Okay. Um, well then let, let's go ahead and start that process or I'll be forced to identify you and there's really no need to escalate the situation. Oh well if you're going to identify me then you're going to give me, you're going to cite me for trespass after warning. Okay so I'm going to but, ask you respectfully to leave them. Oh, so okay I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that. I, I did have more questions but I guess you don't want to answer them so I'll, I'll, I'll get the answers elsewhere. Thank you. Alright, have a good day. Hey, so now I'm confused. Yes, sir. Uh, because a quick Google search shows me that uh, it's it's owned by the city of Tucson and operated by the uh, transit authority, the public entity. So it I seems like a seems like a public place. It, it is based, based on uh, it is. I I have no problem working with you on this, but unfortunately, you created a disturbance downstairs. They call us. They ask you oh, I created a disturbance. Yes, because. Your actions dictated a police call to us. So a police call determines whether a disturbance was created? No, the person reporting it does. Then we investigate. So because they said I created a disturbance. Because you, so actually, I'll, I'll explain it to you. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now that they created a disturbance. Okay, well they asked you to stop recording because it's not permitted down there. Yeah, that's not true either. You, you refused, okay? Uh, they I didn't asked you refuse. to leave. I asked them some they clarifying according questions. According to who told me. I'll Did, does Paradigm just get to tell me to leave this public place? It's not a public place, it's private. It's not? It's a private place, sir. This is a private place. This is a private institution, it is. So who owns it? What's that? Who owns it? The Tucson Airport Authority. The Tucson Airport Authority is a public agency. No, it's not. It's owned, the property is owned by the city of Tucson. I have no problem if you want to take this to the court and work well, with the judge on it. So, yeah, so the problem, the problem is that in order to take it to the court, I have to, to probably be arrested or no, I, or I just go away. So not. what, what do I take to the court? I guess I just file a complaint on you personally. You can file a complaint on and then, me. You can I mean, not personally, but professionally. Uh, you can file a complaint with the Tucson Airport Authority and speak to their legal reps. Okay. Which is how I recommend doing it. And just, okay. They can give you the legal explanation for it. And in the meantime, I guess I'm just done doing what I came here to do, which is to gather footage of the airport on Christmas Eve. Unfortunately, if you're not here as a traveling customer and the disturbances they ask you to stop, then we have to trespass you based upon that. So, so if I come in here and I am a traveling customer and I see someone who I think might not be, 
and I talk to them and I don't like what they say, can I then say that they created a disturbance Are and you, you can the kick them at out? The oh, so that's the difference. So the company gets to just kind of kick no, people it's, it's out all of the. It's situational, sir. Everything's it's situational. All, okay, so it's just it's the totality of circumstances. Correct, correct. Sure, sure. It depends on what you reported as a as a public person. Uh, uh -huh. and their rights to that and what kind of behaviors according to Arizona revised statutes. Right, if right. If it's a federal law, then a federal officer takes a look at it that way. So okay. it comes down to the investigation of the circumstances. You saw on this one, it didn't go criminal because uh, if you're okay and you listen to our directions, we have to follow through that the business wants you off property and then we found out you weren't a traveling customer. Okay. So we resolved it that way. So is, is, there, is there some extra consideration for people who come to the airport but aren't traveling customers, so they follow sort of a different set of rules in terms of what their what expected behavior is? Well, so long as the business is okay with the behavior, it's fine by us. Okay. So, so basically you answer to the business. We answer to the public, any public. I'm the public. But they're the paying customer that owns the property <laughs> rights to the company. See the circle, like. Well, you have to understand, if you go into a Walmart and Walmart. Uh, this is not Walmart. I mean, you're going to use an example. I get you. I don't mean to like cut you off, but you're talking about private property and I think you're dead wrong. Well, that's what I'm saying. Why don't you get with our legal representatives? So in the meantime, you're just like, okay, this might not be the law, but I'm going to enforce oh, no. it. I am enforcing the law. You just don't want to go through the proper channels to research it completely. Well, no. You're using because a Google search. A Google search to determine the ownership of the airport, Tucson that it airport is not airport. a private airport. It's owned by the city of Tucson. A Google search is pretty reliable for me, that. You want me to get you a representative for the airport? Absolutely. Well, why don't you hold on? I'll see if someone's okay. available. Okay. Great. Thank you. to contact me during business hours next week so you can go direct with them so I can make sure it happens. Okay. If that's good enough for you, I can still check, but that, I'm trying to resolve I, the situation. I would I can. would prefer not to come back because uh, right. I mean- I'll, Well, you don't have to, we can do it all No, I phone. mean, no, not to resolve that, but I mean to finish like gathering content. It won't be Christmas Eve, but- uh, What I are can, you trying to film for? Help me understand because you, you're not- you Well, I mean, work with uh, me that's, the, it's important to me not to help you understand the purpose of my filming. Yeah because that's irrelevant and it would just confuse the issue like I'm, I'm not i'm not trying to well, let me do this let me go upstairs see if i can find a representative if not i can give you phone numbers and we i can at least give you every opportunity to verify what i'm trying to i appreciate that okay yep. <laughs> to raise your concerns with them maybe they can arrange for you to have a permit to come out here to do your project as well okay yeah i don't i don't believe i need a permit um, I don't know. I, I, people film in the in the inside the airport all the time. They take selfies and whatever else. Uh, I understand it's a holiday. Things are not normal necessarily, but also on the other hand, situations should be foreseen and training should be thorough. I don't know why I'm standing here on the outside the airport discussing this. I guess it's not common. I don't know. But in any case, uh, I'm here today, and so what matters right now I know I'd appreciate your your efforts to find somebody to, to follow up with and to, to help me to do that later but for today if I go back in there to film are you going to arrest me for criminal trespass unfortunately not only in there you're still on air pro airport property out here okay so I need to get you all the way off all our property okay so if I'm filming at the Suntran bus stop so long as you get on the bus stop sir and in good faith I believe you on that that's fine but the bus just went by so I'll be there for a minute yeah that's fine yeah I have no issue with that because the okay. bus is there on our property 
but you're complying with me. I have no problems not to believe. You. Okay, and I, and I'm sorry. I was kind of I was not paying attention. I didn't know if I actually heard you finish the sentence or if I cut you off. If you're, I if I you're, if I you're film on the property right today, now from oh. airport property. Okay. Okay. I gave you a verbal. Not a problem. If you refuse to leave, I'll have to enforce that arrest. Okay, so you would arrest me if I just for being here at this point? For refusing the lawful order of trespassing is what you'd be arrested for. And the lawful order was based on disorderly I've given you uh, Oh no, I just I'm just clarifying. I don't think you ever thought... Are you gonna are you gonna catch the bus now? Please? I sure am. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh uh, wait, I really believe that that's a pretty pertinent question because you said you, I, you I trespassed what me. I would do. Yes, you're yeah, trespassed but I, from airport property. Okay, based on what? That's my last question. My investigation, I can give you the call number. Okay. What's that? Nine four the trespassing calls that one six three. Correction two six three. Did I go through? I heard you. 9-4, What's the call number we're working? 263 for the trespass on each Copy Gotcha. And then I said that was my last question, but I did notice that you have a different name on your uniform than, than what you spoke out loud. So I wondered if there's some confusion about that. There's my name right there. Sir. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Uh -huh.